produce over a billion tons of waste a year on our planet. Global economic growth entails a greater consumption and thereby greater waste production. Fortunately, there's enough money in the world to solve the problem. If we're not to drown in waste, it's necessary to set up a system of waste management. Such a system has been developed in Denmark and the Danish waste model is one of the most effective, environmentally sound and financially reasonable methods to minimize waste production and maximize the use of resources. The Danish waste model can be adopted by most other countries. So far, Danish know-how and technology within waste management already has been exported to most parts of the world. To inspire even more countries to take a look at the Danish waste model, the Danish Environment Protection Agency, along with the public and the private sector, have produced 14 video programs. They contain almost every aspect of waste management in Denmark. My party, the green party. In the programs, you'll meet high-level politicians from Denmark, as well as outstanding public servants within the European Union, experts, leaders from the Green Movement, and directors from worldwide recognized Danish companies. Here are some of the highlights. There has been a high degree of continuity in the Danish environmental policy. Since 1973, when the Danish Ministry for the Environment was first established. A majority of the Danish Parliament, the Folketing, has worked together to pass legislation making the framework for waste handling the responsibility for the public sector. The environmental problems we face in Europe are considerable and I think uh, a lot of citizens uh, all over Europe are getting more and more worried. And that certainly goes together with the question of uh, waste. Because if we look at how much is produced, so to say, inside the Union, it's just about half a billion tons. And that means that we do need to come up with proposals to reduce it. And we can do that in, uh, in different uh, ways. So I hope the, the responsibility which we have seen by ordinary people in Denmark could be spread all over Europe and all over the rest of the world. Hazardous waste in Denmark is separated from the rest of the waste and treated in a system of its own. The uh, municipalities are responsible for this system and it is based on collection at the source. This is the reason for the high percentage of collection of hazardous waste in Denmark. It is quite clear that uh, the environmental problems linked to waste are central both for the work of the European Environment Agency and for the development of an efficient European environment policy. Therefore, it is very important for the agency to provide member states with the information concerning the experiences that Denmark has developed in this area. Here at Carlsberg we produce more than 3 million hectoliters of beer per year. That generates a lot of waste, uh, approximately 10,000 tons per year. That is uh, broken glass, plastic crates, labels, paper, metal, you name it. However, thanks to systematic handling of the waste, including source separation, Carlsberg manages to recycle 88% of it. Every year we sell more than 100 million of Lego sets all over the world. The sets are produced at our factories in Denmark, Switzerland, the USA, Brazil and South Korea. When such a large volume is produced at a high level of quality, environmental concern and economy in the use of resources are vital. The environmental effects of our manufacturing has simply made the Lego group greener. And it has also saved us lots of millions. In Denmark is grundsystem. The basic system for waste management in most places in Denmark is based on the utilization of energy from the combustion of waste. This can cause concern about the environmental problems, especially if you live next to a waste disposal plant.
we're a national environmental organization with a local responsibility and local solutions for problems associated with the production of waste. Therefore, we also would like to avoid the not-in-my-backyard effect, people who'd rather not have waste-to-energy plants in their neighborhoods dominating when we're evaluating environmentally the establishment of a waste-to-energy plant. Waste management is not an industry that has a widespread understanding, but it is a public task that everyone should be involved in to reduce the environmental impact. You can order video programs on the following issues. Overview, regulation, incineration, hazardous waste and landfills, waste from demolition and construction, hospital waste, industrial waste, transportation and collection, various types of waste, tires, metal, electronics and others, the working environment, recycling, cleaner technology and green management, planning and finance, biogas and compost. Targeted local efforts have made waste visible for households and firms. It's become a product which cannot be ignored. Thanks to this and the Danish waste model, the amount of waste disposed of in landfills has dropped from 39% in 1985 to 26% in 1993. The amount of waste recycled has increased from 35% in 1985 to 50% in 1993. The amount of waste incinerated remains at about 25% and that's also the Danes goal for the year 2000. Danes are becoming greener and greener and they share this attitude with millions of people all over the world.